Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Burytone, and today guys, I'm about to show you how to get any Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield through, through using PK Hex. Now, PK Hex recently made an update 8 hours ago that makes it compatible with Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, all you guys have to do is just go to the PK website, PK Hex website, which I'll leave in the description down below. Make sure you guys check that out. Um, just press download. I re I already pressed download already, so I'm not going to do it double time. So it makes no sense for me to do that. Do that again. So yeah, after you download it, it may come as a a um seven zip folder. So you can have something like Winwar or something like seven zip to open this up. So you, as you see right here, PK Hex. I'm gonna open this up. Do that. Basically, gonna open this up. It's okay, and then minimize this, and then I go put this in the left, and then I'm open up Yuzu Emulator just for a test. Now this works for both Yuzu and a hacked Nintendo Switch. Um, first thing first, you only need to find your save file, which you left click, open save that location. Press that wrong. Press okay for that one. And then you basically just drag your main into right here. And this is my game. I'm very early on to the game, so I'm sure my party box. I just only have score bunny. Um basically say for example look for a Pokemon I want. I mean, you basically can drag the legendary Pokemon too. You can drag the legendary Pokemon too. So drag it to your party box right here. It's going to be in your party box. Um, Say for example, we look for... Um, regular Farfetch. No, I did not try regular Farfetch. Uh, let me try. I know this is probably the worst Pokemon to choose out of anyone. Let me try Mag Magikarp. Try Magikarp. He can basically change his nature. Got all these options. Give me a nickname it. Um, you can give it a held item. Any type of held Hell item, give it hit on uh, any type of healing abilities. You can even change the way you meet it. You can give it a, a master ball for you can change it to give it a master ball. Change up the attacks. You give a magic card. Any type of attack, but outside of these, I think they will notice is a hack Pokemon. The um PKX will tell you it, like it's a hack Pokemon, and you can't technically use it outside of um offline this is my name I can basically change my name uh, all right so see if we can drag it to the party yeah I can basically drag it to the party let me see another Pokemon I can drag in let me try Mr. Ryan. Yeah, Mr. Ryan there too. Ah, oh, keep on messing up. Just drag it right here. And after that, just export it to me. And then you just save it. And then you basically replacing the original one. And you press OK. You exit out. I think exit out of that. And then basically, now let's test it out and see if it works or not. Now, I will make a video um, tutorial for PK Hex for hacked Nintendo Switches also. That process is a little bit longer, so I may make that video next.